I took her in there and I complained raised hail. They cut that bill in half. They said they put a a new carburetor on her and uh, they said that, that saw blade I took in there, that can't be sharpened. So you need to put a new blade on them every time. So when you get one and you get this one, don't worry about sharpening the blade. Just get a new blade. It's like 15 bucks. Get it sharpened. It's like 15, 20 or something. So don't worry about that crap. Just get your new blade. Old saw's back to use it. They put a new carburetor on it. And uh, she's she's good as new. Uh, I raised hell over there. That old boy, he, I told him, I said, hey, we got two John Deere's. Uh, we got a blade, uh, steel blade cutter and a steel uh, trimmer off y'all. I said, if, don't do me right here, boys. We're going to have to trade, trade brands. Ha! <laughs> That old boy rocked back in the chair and said, let me make a couple calls right here. <laughs> anyway, he cut it in half. So, hell, I guess it, he said it'll hold from now on. Don't worry about it. Said the carburetor sometimes on bad, goes bad on them when they're brand new. Said one or two days after they're brand new, they go bad. Said once they get it fixed. It's good for a long, long time. So I told him that if that's the way it is, that's good to go. Anyway, I got the yard mowed. The old garden's flooded. I wish I could have got it planted, but I had to work. And when I got the yard mowed, I got the old trimmer out here. Old trimmer, she fired right up. I've been out here trimming and uh, trying to make it look nice on the Derby weekend. That'd be one of my... One of my goals, old mower, she's back in the, got her back under cover and got the old cub, got it, dragged his ass out of the yard, finally got him started, but he's down there in the driveway, I got him covered up, it's supposed to rain for like the next two, three days, so. It's a beautiful afternoon out here. You give me a call when you're on the way home, I'll send you this video. I know you're still up there in Indiana, man. <laughs> You might as well put your post office box up there. Hey, if you're going to stay at damn line, uh, I'd be calling for some help or something. Anyway, I hope this finds you well. Maybe you'll be rolling for long. Bye-bye.